Hey everybody, Shabo here. I'm back from the video and today. I will be showing you how to make an explosion in Roblox. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to view at the top, click properties and explore. Make sure those are both open and you can see them on your screen. Next, we're going to get our script. If you already have one, then you don't need to do this. But I'm going to make a script right here in server script service. So, and go to explore, right click server script service, insert object, and then insert a script. And it will have to be a normal script because that is a server script. Local scripts will not work. And if you're doing a visual effect, then you can use a local script. But if you're doing anything else, it's probably better to use a server script for that. Next, to make an explosion, I'm going to make it wait eight, seven seconds for my character to load in. And then to make an explosion, local explosion, use instance.new explosion. Now we can change the position of it. So explosion.position equals workspace.spawnlocation.position. What this will do is it'll set the position to the spawn location. Now if you don't want it to go there, you can just change this. You can just change this and then it'll go to there instead. You can also change the power of the explosion. So I can change the range of it to like 20, and then I can change the pressure of it to like 10,000 or whatever number. I'm not going to change these for this tutorial though. You can also change the posi you can also change how close objects need to be for their joints to be destroyed. If you set it to this, none of the joints will be destroyed at all and it'll just stick together as normal. But if you do one, everything inside the explosion will get torn apart. You can also change its visibility to false or true. We want it to stay invis we want it to stay visible so we can see the explosion. You can also change the explosion types, so em.explosion type dot creators and no creators. Basically this will make it so it'll either destroy terrain on creators or not. So if you have terrain, you'd probably want to change that to whatever you want it to be. And then after all that, you want to parent it to workspace then that'll trigger the explosion. So now as you can see, if I press play here, then after seven seconds, there'll be an explosion right there. And you can see it right there. Now let's say you want to make a custom explosion script. If you don't want to make a custom explosion, then the video ends right here. But if you do, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So if you want to make a custom explosion, then you want to turn this off so that none of the joints get destroyed because you aren't going to want to script that. An explosion dot blast radius is how big you want the explosion to be. Explosion dot blast pressure. If you want to keep the velocity changes from the blast pressure, then you can just not change that or keep it as what you changed it to before. But for this, I'm just going to change it to zero. Now what I'm going to do is make an explosion that just damages you, but does absolutely nothing else at all. So you're going to want to hook up a function to the explosion. It's so explosion dot hit connect function and then hit so anything that gets hit by the explosion will be put inside of here then local h which is just short for humanoid which is just the main part of a character which holds its health and stuff like that so local h equals hit dot parent find first child which is a humanoid if h and h dot health is greater than zero then h take damage however damage you want it to, how much damage you want it to do I'll put like 50 damage. And since we don't want it hitting the same character multiple times because they have multiple limbs, we can just put this line of code right here. And this will make it basically only hit it once because it's only focusing on one part of the character. And we're using this instead of the head or torso because if you have a custom character, this is in pretty much all of them. So that's the best one to use. You also want to move this in front of the, in front of the parent to workspace. I don't know why, but apparently you have to. That's just a Roblox thing. Then as you can see, I took 50 damage, and now I'm at 50 health, and my HP is slowly regenerating. And that's how you make an explosion in Roblox. Make sure to slap that like button and punch the subscribe button. Peace.